It's another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world. Yeah. What up? And thank you for being here. It's the Woody Show. I'm Woody. That's Ravy. Hello. There's uh, Greg Gorey. Yo. We got Menace. What is up, Woody? Seabass is here. We got Sammy. Good morning. Bort and Caroline on the job today. They're in the Woody Show production department. Morgan is our associate producer. We got Vaughn, our video producer, doing a fine job. Are you uh, keeping an uh, eye on all those videos that we keep releasing? There's mm. new videos all the time. Daily. Daily videos. YouTube.com slash The Woody Show. Tons of uh, animated podcasts. Anyway, Vaughn's doing a great job. Live streams with chat rooms. I've been addicted to this show on Netflix. Maybe you've seen it. It's called The Unexplained and is hosted by that dick, William Shatner. <laughs> the Shat? No. Oh. Menace, you I, I think I've love it. I watched Explained on Netflix, but I didn't know there was an Unexplained. Yeah, this is The Unexplained. Really? I think okay. I've seen the tile for it you okay. know, mm-hmm. up on the... Netflix. I think I think is everybody it, here would love is it. Is it kind of like an unsolved mysteries type thing? Uh, it's more of a hist- where they look back at certain topics and discuss things that we can never really explain. They have an episode called The Great Escapes, uh, Superhuman Senses. They do a whole thing about a guy who can't feel pain. And, oh, nice. Uh, yeah. They do Mysterious Mummies. That one was a good Ooh. one. And it led it leads to so many high thoughts for me. <laughs> <laughs> and <Yeah. laughs> the th- Couple thoughts that I had about it. First of all, you're addicted to the show, or I am, because of William Shatner's narration. It is so over the top. Really? <laughs> you know, that's what we'll explore today on the unexplained noise. Oh, like, my. It's so <laughs> right. over the top. Yeah. And they do one where they do look at ancient structures, pyramids, and Stonehenge mm-hmm. and whatnot. Some mm-hmm. of them, one random thought I had was they always ask, why make these elaborate, uh, you know, memorials for the dead maybe because they look nice you know we we always <laughs> overlook the fact that just because it's the mega old-timey days you didn't want things to look nice maybe they that's the yeah. reason i mean what well, else did they have to do exactly too, like, why with the elaborate elaborate carvings because they're pretty well we had that's a question why. like if you had a time machine cool. you can go back to witness anything in history like what would you go back to see mm-hmm. and uh Ravy said the yeah. building of the pyramids because how? Well, right. because how, uh-huh. for sure. It's, it's. I mean, it's very interesting. I mean, aliens, obviously. Yeah, duh. Absolutely. Right, yeah, right. Duh. But I just want to be there to see it. See but, the aliens. But the high thought I had, and it was more of a high question, I suppose. At what point in history did we stop telling people things that made things a mystery? In other words, yeah. Why Stone- is there records? Stonehenge was built somehow, some way, they don't know. It's still unexplained. Mm-hmm. And at what point did, let's say, the son of the guy who put the stones together or the crew, um, we don't know how many people. Aliens. Uh-huh. Say like, oh, remember when dad was helping out on down on Stonehenge? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and then that guy has kids and then his yeah. wife is telling stories. You know, grandpa helped build Stonehenge. Oh, because wow. Because Stonehenge is still there. It's not like right. it disappeared. I know, so, but you would think since it's such a big deal that that story would have continued. Yeah, like, that's what we're been saying. At least written like, down. I can understand exactly. how the story went away because Stonehenge is no longer around. But, yeah, you would right. think it'd so be then, handed and, down generation and to generation. And then the great-grandparents. written down somewhere. Right, or yeah. the great-grandkids would say, <laughs> yeah, you know, my dad was one of the workers on Stonehenge. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? How did that go down? Well, he got hired by this guy who wanted to make this monument. When did it, when does it just go boom stop we okay. don't know anything I did have a high thought about something like this um at one point where I thought to myself okay so the dinosaurs dinosaurs were here got wiped out right and then humans come mm-hmm. along and whatever okay well what if like humans in and you know just we we got started right mm-hmm. and then what if at one point we all got wiped out and then it started over again and so like when that generation or whatever, when they started, they were like, what is this? Yeah. So they didn't know. It yeah. wasn't like it was just like a continuation of mm-hmm. lineage of people sharing these stories from one generation to the next. What if they all, what if there was some kind of big event that wiped everybody out? Yeah, AI like, destroys us mm-hmm. all. Yeah. So I'm saying like, no, like the, the, the pyramids were built, Stonehenge was built, whatever. And then yeah. humans got wiped out. Mm-hmm. And then a huge plague happened. Started By over AI. again. Or maybe there was like, you know, <laughs> yeah. two people that survived and they yeah. started breeding again. And here we are. And now that's why we have no idea about certain things like how that happened or right, like a pompeii yeah. kind of thing I'm you know just wondering. Right. Like, so they just got wiped out there was only 23 people left right, right. But it's a you... great story a great story a great point there are stories like we've got you know 
uh, the Iliad, the Odyssey, the Bible that are thousands of years old. They right. managed to keep those. Uh, sure. You know, right. All they They're still going. How to build yeah. Stonehenge. Right. I, I mean, but if the internet went out today and somebody was like, hey, Greg, I heard about this thing called the internet. You were around when it was here. Can you explain to me how that works? I mean, would you be able to tell someone well, how to rebuild the internet? Well, Maybe Greg's Greg. the wrong person yeah, for yeah. that. That's the wrong example. Yeah. That's okay. The, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah, you got the black room. box and the silver box. <laughs> Even though it existed, would you know how to rebuild it? yourself or tell somebody else how no, to do it. No, but if you were no. one of the creators of the internet, uh, you might tell your niece, hey, I'm the right. creator. Guess what? And then the niece would tell her husband. And then he, yeah, they would there'd be an oral history an that or- would eventually become a written history. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So at what point is it all of a sudden, the pyramids, for example, how the origin is totally wiped out. Thousands yeah. of people were involved in that. And then boom, stop. We don't know anything about well, it. Well, I'm more on board with Woody's idea that, yeah, there was something that wiped out a large majority of people, and that's why we don't have records of yeah. it. Ancient civilizations wiped out yeah. by natural disasters. It's called yeah. the flood. No, it's Ark. Hello. Yeah, plague. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hello. Plagues and stuff. Hello. Alien abductions. Earth, yeah. Just yeah. plucked everybody out of here. Was... Or maybe their families just got so sick of telling the same damn story all it's the like time. We like, get, well, we get it. Uncle about... John made right. Stonehenge. Yeah. Ahmed, stop <laughs> talking about your uncle. <laughs> Uh, we Grab. get it. We got it. I've had your thought too. We rocks. get it. The Solomon family built the pyramids. Like we understand. Thank you. <laughs> I've had your thought too, Woody. Like <laughs> fast forward thousands and thousands of years, would they excavate our houses in an archaeological dig and think, why do they have rooms with these weird toilet things in them? You know, mm. and why so many? Probably Are not. you kidding? The way stuff's built these days, Greg. That's right. not gonna make it right. Yeah. Right. But. Like, the- it's not going to show up. But we also don't no give them credit, too. Maybe they just wanted things to look neat. Yeah. Or maybe it was just because. Why did they build this? Well, they thought it was neat. So that's what uh, Greg got by watching. Hmm. Yeah. Unexplained. Unexplained. I, can't wait I to want watch to it know when these, the chat. these oral histories just cease yeah. to exist. So Vice does that, like, um, what is it? Dark, dark side, side of the 90s, yeah, 2000s. Right. All so that kind of stuff. now there's Dark Side of the 2000s. And there were two episodes. And that's um, on Hulu? Uh, yeah, you can watch it on Hulu. Yeah, but like to watch the 2000s one is not available just on regular Hulu. If you have Hulu with live TV, which is like thousand oh, dollars you can I watch it. I don't have that. Okay, here's, I feel like Greg. <laughs> I have everything. Yes. Like, right, so when I pay for Hulu, I pay for the- um, The ad-free. The ad-free, whatever. Yes. Right? So you would think anything that's on Hulu, I should be able to watch. But there's this show, for example, that I wanted to see. Uh-huh. People told me I'd like it, and I wanted to see it. But it said no. It's uh, only available on the to live version, Hulu Live or whatever. And it said, uh, you know, and I, I've even thought like, well, screw it. I'll sign up for that too, just so I can watch this. Mm-hmm. And there's no way to do it on the Hulu app, or you know, like I can't sign. I just can't sign up for it. You have um, to go online and do it. Yeah, you go Hulu online Live and do TV it? is yep. like a whole separate thing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, it on your browser. <laughs> I found it on uh, Apple, where you can buy the individual oh, episodes, rent them. So like yeah. two ninety nine, you can purchase the episode but there were two right. episodes about like uh the radio wars and the shock jocks of the 2000s so like howard stern oh, okay. yeah. opie and anthony that douchebag man cow that we used to work <laughs> with screw that guy and a couple of the grease man <laughs> <laughs> oh, the yeah. grease man <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was it was insane man like you know and i I've, I've been in this the entire time mm-hmm. i've been in this this industry the entire time and watching this you're like Good God, I can't believe they got away with any of that stuff. And oh, I lived yeah. through it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But it was fascinating. It's called The Dark Side of the 2000s. Dark it's Side so of the 2000s. Dark. Yeah. It's a, there's a two part episode. It was about, like, you know, how Howard went to war with Don Imus. Oh, yeah. You know, and then eventually went to war with Opie and Anthony. It was pulling the same stuff on Opie and Anthony that Howard or that Don Imus had pulled on Howard. Yeah, it's uh, don't mention me, don't talk about me, don't make fun of me, <laughs> all these things. Mm. It's done really well. And then the downfall of Opie and Anthony because they got in so much trouble several times. Oh, a number mm. of times. Yeah, and then you know, man cow cries. Rave, you'll love it. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh actual oh, weeping. Yeah, yeah. That, yes, I'm bag. renting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not that, the love those, on there. those clips. Uh, he's not big enough to be on that. But um, but man cow is <laughs> the cow is now. At least he was in Chicago. But, yeah, big, and the major and city. He was syndicated. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, third biggest city. He was on in San Francisco as well. Mm-hmm. But oh, that, yeah, some that, of those that clips got mentioned yeah. about how he got fired from San Francisco for yeah. stopping down traffic on the Bay Bridge to get a haircut. Yeah. Right. He cut my son's hair. Because Clinton <laughs> um, stopped the airport. To oh, get yeah, brought LAX to a halt because yeah. he was getting a haircut on the plane. 
Yeah. And so, like, the whole airport was just kind of like, you know, Shut all the down. flights were suspended until he left, but he was mm-hmm. busy getting a haircut, so <laughs> it delayed everybody's flights. How pissed would you be? <laughs> so bad. Yeah. I'd be man cat pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we stole his alligator and threw it away? He had this big fake alligator mounted on the wall. Oh, cool. Yeah, because he was always, like, messing with everybody else, and he was always such a dick to us. Nice so- to our face. Nice to your face and, and talk then, about you behind your back. Yeah. And so we just got tired of it. So we messed with him at every turn. <laughs> so one of the you guys. stole an alligator? Well, one of the guys at my show took the alligator off the wall. It was like, I don't know, five feet long. Yeah, it was pretty big. Wow. We brought it downstairs to the main floor of the building, which is this massive building in downtown Chicago called the Merchandise Mart. Huge. It's so big, it's got its own zip code. It has right? its own stop on the L train. Yeah. And uh, we stuffed it into a garbage can down the lobby and i guess he was coming back from something and happened to see it just like, uh-huh. happened oh wow yeah he's like oh, wait is that my alligator, <laughs> my alligator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh turn. man and what was this what did he call you ravy i forget fat, fat no mouth, that wasn't him bitch no that else. was bubba the love Sponge. oh okay yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! But man, it was if you're you know if you're into that st- that stuff or any of those shows <laughs> at one point in time, yeah, obviously love anybody it. who's in the industry. I mean, it was watching that now again. Oh my god! With how tight and conservative everything is now for everybody getting offended on everything. Yeah. Holy hell! Right. <laughs> I couldn't. I can't even believe that was reality. And I again, yeah. I lived through it. Yeah. It's pretty wild. It's on uh, Vice. Somebody said just download the Vice app. But uh, I did, and like that wasn't available yet. Oh, no. yeah. I guess it's too new. So I guess the the dark side of the 2000s mm. just came out. The other stuff, like the 90s one, that's out. Yeah, uh, I'll teach you how to do it. I like yeah. those. And I, <laughs> well, I told you I watched the um, the Untolds, mm. um, yeah. like the Johnny Manziel one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. so him. good. That was all Schadenfreude. It was all right. <laughs> love love seeing that guy just go down. <laughs> Sucks. Love the untold douchebag, but yeah, that was that was pretty cool. But watch uh, unexplained. Yeah, it's mm. unexplained.